Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and it is trailer day. So this today is the t not the tenth. It is the 9th of October, and the Volume Five trailer has come out. Not the Yang specific trailer. The or Yang's character trailer is going to be coming out uh, later. We don't have a date for that, I believe. Um, I don't know when it'll be because I, I mean the show comes out. I think it's Saturday. But this is the Volume 5 trailer, and it was released at NYCC, and I wasn't able to go because of school. And this actually came out while I was in class, so I got back from class, ate food as fast as I could, and immediately like came over. And God, I just—I don't think I'm ready for this, man. Let's just. Oh. oh. Hello. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. The White Fang has Shit. promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once <gasps> we Ilya! have what we need. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. Oh, Just leave I... menagerie before it's too late. She doesn't want her hurt, I was right. You're going to have to make me. <sighs> and I'm, uh, looking for someone. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the Shit. world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We get one. Shot at this. Oh god. If Adam gets his way and Haven falls, it's only going to make things worse oh, no. with the bonus. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have in oh, the leader. <gasps> Wait. Things are bad, but we can figure this out. My sister has the spring maiden, and I know where she is. Shit. We need to go. She so does. Possible. I always knew I wanted to be more than a farm hand, but who would ask for this? Whose was that? Can I help you? Shit. Okay, let's let's go back a little bit there. So oh okay, um that was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Like, oh god, that was really intense. Oh no, no, I don't want to watch the Weiss trailer. As much as I love the Weiss trailer, that is not what I want right now. That is not what I want right now. I need Ruby, let me just oh, okay. Okay, I love the voice that they have for Lionheart. I think that was the same. Okay. Let's go over this again. I love the music that they have for it, because I'm There doesn't seem to be anyone here. White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and there was once okay, so what we need. You're she's trying to help. So somehow she knows Blake's plan, so she's probably spying, but she knows whatever Blake's plan is won't work, and she just wants her to be safe. She knows something that she can't tell her. And Blake, she's trying her best to help you. Like, by all means, she could have killed you so many times and she's still there trying to help despite everything <sighs> mm. we got to see the white thing headquarters so that was probably that was probably sienna khan that was probably sienna khan which i need to get a closer look at that time because I, I, I think i'm really hoping that sienna khan is a girl i'd really really love to have another badass villain in ruby uh villainess i guess um God, an Oscar. Game isn't gonna work, Blake. Just leave the menagerie before it's too late. She says that as if something's gonna happen to menagerie itself. Yay. I'm looking for someone. Mood. Mistral's controlled territory. I love her. Reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. That's such a good line for AMVs, by the way. Like, I'm working on one, and it's not, like, a serious one, but that's going to be a really good line. <sighs> we get one shot at this. Okay, so they clearly... All right, so I'm going to say that that running scene is probably something they found out information or they thought someone was there, but... So Haven knows that they're next. They know that they're next. They know that there was an accident. But they know that there's only so much that, with the way that this has been implanted, there's only so much that they can do to stop it. Uh. If Adam gets his way and Haven falls, it's only going to make things worse for the Faunus. We're better than humans. Okay. So she has ears. Okay, so is she. Her bangs are epic. I cannot wait for the concert after that because she. I think humans have it more. <sighs> things are bad, but 
we can figure this out. My sister has the spring maiden, and I know. Of course she does. We need to go as soon as possible. I'm so glad that Raven is having a weird part. I really need to redo my Raven cosplay. Who would ask for this? God, that line. Can I just? Who would ask for this? Ah, fuck. That line is something that really just immediately stuck out to me because not that is in essence a lot of what this show is. And I think it's kind of easy to forget that these are kids. Ruby was 15 at the start of the show. She's 16 now. Uh, she's the only one that we really have like a confirmed thing for because we know what her birthday is now. But like when when you're in a situation like that, when you like you grow up hearing stories about heroes and fairy tales and you always want something more you always want to be more than what you are it's part of the basic nature of being human i think and oscar got that but he wanted more but it's when you're faced with that when you realize what you're a part of and how terrifying it is you sometimes kind of find yourself is this really what i wanted it's the whole essence of be careful what you wish for and I want to know whose weapon that is. That fits the color scheme of Raven and everyone she was with. So that's promising, but maybe that's Sienna Cons. Oh shit! So he's probably gonna die. Wait, I want to get a closer look at that. I need to see that. No. Uh, okay, so she's not on it, but I would like to take a moment to just appreciate how far away she's come with summoning. All she could do before was a small sword version of it. Can I help you? <sighs> I love Oscar so much! I need to stop clapping in these videos because it messes with the audio levels, but... God, there's just so much to think about. Ugh. So Oscar's gonna be up, and that's probably gonna be like near the end of the series. I don't think it's to be that early on. Um, as far that looked like a tongue, whatever that whip was that wrapped around Lionheart, heart looked like a tongue. So it was probably a member of the White Fang. I'm gonna. I don't think it would be Sienna, but it's not Adam. We know that much. But Adam is actively seeking to do things. He's seeking out Blake. He's seeking out trouble. Which could probably, probably be a huge part of what the plan is that Elliot was warning Blake about. Like, no, you need to get out of here. Like, he's he's coming, Blake. Like, you have to get out of here before it's too late for you to leave. Because there's going to come a point where she has to make a decision. And I'm not going to, I'm a little mis- Like, I understand why that Blake isn't trusting Elliot. I really do. But I feel like she needs to kind of take a minute and just realize exactly how much Illy is putting at risk by just telling her at least this much. Like, Illy is still leaning on that part of their friendship that still remains. Like, I don't know if anything ever happened between Blake and Ilya, but I think that when Blake left the White Fang, she never said goodbye to Ilya either. Like, she wouldn't have given her a heads up and then she went to go and pretend to be human out of school. And I feel like Ilya could have kind of had this moment of you heard my story. You know what they can do to you. You know what they did to me, and yet you, you go and join them. So I think that's what her thing is, but even though she's upset with her, I think she generally still cares about her. And, oh, this is, a, this is gonna be, this is gonna be like, volume two all over again where people are thinking it's gonna be like a series of three so like volume one was introduction volume two was preparation volume three was a climax volume four was recovery and introduction volume five is probably going to be leading up to like the volume six but that was really intense and i'm not ready and i've heard some really good things apparently production is slowing down on the show right now but it looks really good and i'm really concerned and i think the hardest part about going to school is that like my classes have to come first before anything with ruby but um same goes for cosplays and raven i'm so glad she's a play is a more important part i think that one glimpse of uh cinder we didn't see her much but i think she's definitely gonna be a huge part in this because i think cinder 
is still having her doubts. She knows she knows that she's too far gone in this. Um, so she may have been suggesting a different idea, and Salem was just kind of like, no, don't understand. We, we needed the White Fang to cooperate with us, and in order for that to happen, we had to promise them to destroy Haven. So that is exactly what we have to do. And I'm really glad that they brought up the whole thing with Mistral, because that is an actual problem. Like, if you have really large borders, it's hard to protect them. That's how, like, half the countries and, like, the empires and history fell. Like, Rome was like, oh, you know, we're sure, let's go keep conquering shit. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, we don't have anyone to guard over these things, so everyone broke in and stole everything. And it does not bode well for the future. And, God, I, I want to see Ruby and Oscar interact. I want to see Oscar and anyone interact. Like, I can't imagine him really interacting with anyone. But I am a little bit nervous because of the hope that it could give them. And I say that partially as them and also me, because if they know, if they, I don't think Oswin would find a way to tell them that, actually they might meet up with him the thing, because they just met up with Crow. Because he just met up with Crow, and Crow is healed in with them. But um, maybe it'll be closer to the beginning. But if he tells them that, like, Ospin is communicating with him, like, through his head, like, through all of that, then I think that Jean and Nora and maybe even Ren, their first thought could just kind of be like, if that's the case, it one, is there a, like, is that happening to Pyrrha? Like, is, is someone out there hold, like, with, with her in her head? And two, is there a way to bring Austin back through that? And if so, ex by extension, their former teammate. So I'm very eager. I'm very happy that Ilya's having a bigger role. Like I know that she was only had like that one little part in Volume Four, and then like the Blake trailer is mostly her trailer. But I'm very excited because she's currently my favorite living character on Ruby, and I'm a little miffed with Blake. I love I love her. I just I want her to like realize exactly like I understand where she's coming from. Her emotions are justified. I want to make that very clear. Like her reaction to Ilya and her emotions towards her are completely justified. But she is she needs to kind of like take a minute and take a breath and realize that Ilya may not be on her side, but I don't think she's entirely happy where she is either. I think that Ilya might actually kind of get more of like a locust treatment where she'll, she may defect from the White Fang or just kind of do her best there, and then she's like, I've done too many messed up things in my life to even try to repent for them, uh, and just kind of go out on her own and try to do her own good. Um, I thought she's gonna die, which I really hope she doesn't die. I also love for her to become a team member, but I think that's my current theory. Um, as far as theories for the rest of the volume, I don't have too many right now. I'm gonna put up a video on what my Cinder theory is soon. Uh, I've been saying that for a while, but I lost like half the evidence, so I need to like put it back together. Uh, long story short, I don't think Cinder has a, a semblance. Without all of the evidence, I just think that Kira has said like, oh, you have a lot of aura, um, which she says that to Jean. So that suggests you can also have a little bit of aura. So I think that we also never see her fight with a semblance or anything like that. So I think that she had maybe had tried to go to one of the schools, but she didn't have enough aura to project it externally for like a semblance and even just to really protect herself. And therefore she couldn't become a huntress because it wasn't safe enough. She didn't have enough of this natural ability. Because Weiss even says, like, once I found out that I could fight, as in like there's people who can't. So I think that was her whole thing. So that's the, I want to be strong. I want to be powerful. She wanted to reach that point where she can do it and just show everyone who denied her what she believed was something that she earned, or not something that she earned, uh, something that she just deserved. So I think that could be really interesting. And I'm going to hopefully have that out. It won't be a long video. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to format it too. Cause it's like, do you guys just want me to spitball ideas talking? Or do you want me to go kind of like game theory with it, with clips and whatnot? And it's, it's all kind of up in the air and I'm doing it with homework, so it's a little bit tricky. Uh, but I'm very excited. I'm gonna watch this 300 times. I hope the soundtrack song is on the album because I want to listen to it forever because that is some serious hype music. I was already pretty hyped for Ruby. I'm pretty hyped for this week in general because it's the Overwatch event is tomorrow. Voltron comes out on Friday. Ruby comes out on Saturday. It's Dungeons and Dragons night for me on Friday. And there was something else. But I, I think there's like a food truck festival this weekend. So lots of things are going on. Just uh, mm, I want to see that we didn't see a lot of voice in this trailer, and we didn't see a lot of Cinder. 
uh, I, which, which we got a lot of them last season, so either we won't be seeing too much of them, or we will. I know we're going to see at least one fight scene with Weiss because she does a thing with the soldier, and that makes me happy. Oh, and there was one picture, I guess, with her, and she was practicing, so she's probably with Winter. So she's probably safe? Question mark? I'm kind of getting concerned that the song No Safe Haven from um, Volume 3 is going to be coming back into the picture, either in this one or the next volume, kind of like a reprise situation, just because they love to do that with little little hints of the music, or it's like, oh, you know, it's like Pillars collapse in shame, and then Pierre literally collapsed on the floor because she killed a person in shame. Um, little, little things like that, uh, especially because this is Haven. Uh, so... I'm concerned, and very excited, but I am concerned, and I'm hopefully going to have videos on time. I believe they come out three days later on YouTube, I think that's what it is. I mean, I have to double check what that is, but as soon as they go live on YouTube, I will also have them going up on my channel unless I've been held up with homework or something, in which case I'll probably put something on my Twitter about it. I'm going to really try to do my best not to do anything, and hopefully I'll actually have time to draw more for this season, because I don't think I've drawn Oscar once. I've really only drawn, I think, Pyrrha for Ruby. <laughs> um, oh, and Blake, and Weiss. And I drew Yang once, and I did Penny once. But I've, I've drawn Pyrrha like eight times. Uh, so hopefully I can actually draw more from the season, because I love the character science, I love how it looks in Maya. Like, they've only been getting better, I know that they did like the new pencil shader, uh, so the hair is gonna look good, it looks really nice, and I'm very excited. And I cannot wait for Yang's character trailer whenever that comes out, and I'm very excited, and oh god, I'm not emotionally ready! And I won't be able to tune into the Twitch stream of catching up on up to review, so they're playing volumes 1 through 4 on Twitch. But that doesn't mean that you guys can't, so if you guys want to go and like binge watch the series one more time, I don't think it's on Netflix anymore, but if you guys don't have a Crunchyroll, um, they're gonna be playing it on Twitch, and you guys can chat, chat in the comments, in the chat, chat in the chat, and have fun. And, I don't know, it sounds like it would be fun, and I can't do it, so you guys should go and have fun on my behalf. So, <laughs> hope you guys have a, well, I was gonna say a week, but a wonderful few days, because it's Monday, and it comes out on Saturday. So you guys might get this on Monday, so I guess a week. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful days until Ruby Hype Week. Have a wonderful Ruby Hype, hype Week. There we go. Yeah. <laughs>